welcome everybody and I want to welcome Joe the boxer uh, this is a special feature fit remote training session and I'm gonna do a voiceover for this because when we shot this the wireless mic was not hooked up of course uh, that's on me but now I will do a voiceover to walk you through everything that we did so uh, quick introduction here this is Joe he's a professional boxer and he is also the owner of uh, uh, Minneapolis boxing club uh, which is a new boxing studio they've been around for a while but uh, just moved there in South Minneapolis and I'll link more to uh, their uh, their boxing studio in the notes here but uh, Joe's the owner, him and his wife Heidi, and they're fantastic people and great trainers. Uh, Joe's a professional boxer. He hasn't had a fight in a couple years, uh, so he is um, right now in the process of raising his brand new little girl, Rose, and uh, Heidi and Joe are expecting again here. So he's busy with that. He's also busy running his gym, and uh, Joe spends most of his time now training other professional boxers. His last fight was about a year or two ago, I think, maybe like uh, maybe 18 months ago. And he fought, he had a great fight against the uh, current bronze medalist for, uh, for the, the, our last Olympics. Um, and Joe has, I believe, seven professional uh, fights under his belt. The longest one went for seven rounds, and that's significant for you guys. Understand that Joe is not in training for a fight right now, but what we will do is focus deeply on this idea of the time domain that Joe has spent most of his career in, which is three minutes on and one minute off. Now, this is not a typical three minute on, one minute off that we would experience in the gym, uh, where it is, you know, three activities, you know, you kind of get a glide through it, and, and maybe there's uh, some stuff that is challenging and stuff, stuff that is easy. The goal here is to say, hey, look, let's get after this in a way that Joe might experience in the ring, where in the ring where he is um, working hard, being dynamic, uh, taking blows for three minutes. And let's see what that feels like. So this is three minutes for Joe is maximum capacity. And when I say maximum capacity, I mean like all systems are go. So we're going to warm up here, and you can see Joe just started. We started a timer here. He's going to have three minutes. And on his last minute, what I want him to do is just kind of get a feel for like, hey, what's the pace uh, for a one-minute all-out effort? What we're linking here is three uh, activities. One is a one-minute all-out effort. The other uh, is a kettlebell swing, heavy load. Uh, and a burpee. So we've picked three activities that are dynamic. They get you out of breath. Now, no one's hitting anybody uh, that I'm aware of, but you have to keep in mind that as we look at these three minutes, it is more than running, rowing, biking, kettlebell swings, burpees. Uh, when we're trying to match the intensity of what Joe might face in the ring, we're talking about you know stress that is much more dynamic than the way we uh, have it here in the gym. So we're going to try and marry this together. I'm going to push on Joe pretty hard to get him to that point where he's like, yep, this is a hundred percent. This feels like a fight. Um, and again, you'll see the here, one thing you, you're going to learn this about Joe real quick is I do not care if he is uh, 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 puking, missing a limb, uh, bleeding out. He will keep going. Uh, part man, part machine is what I say about Joe. So in 15 seconds, you guys, I want you to kind of get after this last minute. Um, and you're going to create an estimate here of what you think your one minute, like this is all out. So for some of us, we're like, yeah, I can hit, you know, 18 or 20 calories in a minute. If that's your measurable, um, if you're running on a track, maybe it's like a one minute all out or on a treadmill, it's a one minute, like this is aggressive. I need to, catch my breath and still work after this. So you're on, you can see Joe's kind of just picking, uh, picking it up a little bit here. And um, he's just figuring out like, hey, look, what would this feel like? Right now we're talking about, you know, what it's like uh, to have first round of a fight 
in and have a minute off and then have to go after it again. And a lot of it is adrenaline. And after that adrenaline is gone, this becomes about fitness and capacity. Uh, and it, it really is about your ability to suffer. Uh, so about 15 seconds, you'll come off and you'll have an idea here. And as I talk to Joe, he's telling me he feels like a, a 20 calories at this point in a minute is kind of his his uh, his comfortable like golden place where he's like, that's going to smoke me. So three, two, one, come on off, guys. And we're going to do a warm up now. I'm going to just turn this over and I love it. You can see Joe. He's like so used to just like I'm going to shake him out here. Right. Uh, but we're going to do lunge steps and we're going to do push ups. So we're going to do 10 lunge steps, 10 push-ups, and you'll do two rounds like that. And then you can follow along with Joe. Then when you're done with those two rounds, you're going to go through, and I want you to go through and count uh, 30 seconds. You're going to see him jump rope in a bit here because that's what he does. You could run, bike, or rope. Uh, and then so it's 30 seconds of cardio. Then it is uh, 10 squats and, again, 10 push-ups. So you're going to do two rounds of each one of those. Again, the lunge step, 10 the push-up 10. Joe's on his second round here. And then you'll see him uh, uh, when he comes up here, he's going to grab a jump rope. He's going to start to jump here for 30 seconds. And you guys can kind of uh, follow along with a run, a bike or a run. You want to do jumping jacks, you want to jump in place, whatever you want to do. But he's going to jump for about 30 seconds. And, you know, this is his thing. Now, I do want you to keep in mind that, um, right, Joe is he is not in training right now. So he does not have a fight right now. Um, when I did talk to him, he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue to fight. But right now his focus is really on his family and his business. Um, so he is not in peak condition. Now this workout will look exactly the same. He'll put the same effort in, but his numbers would be different if you were like a month out or six weeks out from a fight. Um, it would, it would look much different, but right now what we're shooting for again are three elements, uh, a run, a bike, or a row for a minute, a kettlebell swing for a minute, and a uh, burpee for a minute. So, yep, he's going to go through another round of this. And, uh, again, he's got his 10 squats. He's going to jump rope a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to get rolling. So as he finishes this up and you guys follow along, you're going to come out of your warm-up. And what's going to happen next is – we're talking about these same time domains uh, that Joe has in one round, three minutes on, one minute off. The way we're going to spin this up in the studio for Joe, and again, we're marrying two worlds here. Like this is not uh, Joe's world uh, inside Fit Studio. Uh, uh, he's in the ring in his own space, uh, working on technical work with boxers. So, um, you know, he's going to do the best he can. But what we're going to end up doing here is we're saying, hey, look, one minute. He said his goal is 20 calories. Uh, he's going to get 26 kettlebell swings in a minute because that's what he feels like is aggressive. He's like, hey, I think I can do 26. If you're already like, hey, you're going to come up with your numbers. If you're like, that's too much or too little, um, you know, you be the judge. Um, but my guess is it's somewhere between 20 and 30 kettlebell swings. And then he has guaranteed 20 burpees on the minute, on the last minute. So the rules are, again, as follows. Okay, it's one minute to hit 20 calories uh, or whatever your one minute all out aggressive is. And it got it has to be something that you're like, oh, my gosh, I, I, like I'm toast. And then you have to swing your kettlebell. Uh, he's going to go for 26. You're going to pick your number somewhere between 20 and 30. And then he's going to do 20 burpees on the last minute. Now, we've said this. Hey, if it takes you longer to complete one of those elements, if it takes you longer to complete one of those elements, you bleed into the next. And eventually, you'll get to the end of the third minute. And if you're not there, you don't get to rest the full minute. So let's say his burpees take him a minute and 30 seconds. Well, sorry, Joe. You only have 30 seconds to rest before you get back out there and fight. Clock is going to start here, you guys, in about 10 seconds. And you can follow along with Joe. You're going to see him get after it right away. There is no holding back for this guy. He will put it all out there. He is a workhorse. And your numbers might look different, but what I want you to watch is his work ethic. Again, part man, part machine. There is, there is nothing uh, that's going to keep, make him quit. So you'll see when we get to the end of this. The only thing that makes him stop is me. He would just keep going uh, on one leg, uh, blind, and uh, and 
uh, puking in his mask. <laughs> so hang in here with Joe. Uh, we're going to roll here and he's going to end up doing four rounds of this work, four rounds. Now you might be like, uh, I'm not doing four rounds. Uh, I need six rounds or two rounds. In 10 seconds, we're rolling. Joe's going through four. Then I'm throwing in the white towel. You guys can decide what you want to do. Clock rolls in three, two, one. Okay, perfect. So you can see, like, he's dialed in. He's focused. Uh, and I'm going to walk you through this first round here, you guys. Um, he's going to hit 20 calories. And what's going to happen is you're going to come off and be like, all right, I, I, think, I think I got it. Uh, no, I need to breathe, and then I can start into my next uh, piece here. So again, you know this. This is familiar to you. Here are some of the landmarks. These are some of the subjective cues. If you're at the 30-second mark and you're like, uh-oh, this is starting to suck, dive in. You should. If you're not there yet, you're going too slow. So you should already be at a place where you're like, dang it. Like, okay, this sucks. I'm already there. And you can see Joe laboring here uh, even to get to the end of this first minute. 15 seconds, and you're going to come off. And you'll see exactly what happens here in 10 seconds, uh, nine, eight. And again, if you're not where you need to be, if you're not at your 20 calorie marker or 18 or wherever, you're going to keep going. Three, two, one. He made it. Okay. And again, he's like, okay, what's up here? No, nope, he's a little confused. Now he's going. So here comes the kettlebell swing, you guys. Uh, and again, you're somewhere between 20 and 30. Joe has said, hey, look, I think 26 is about right for me. Uh, and, you know, when we talk after this, he's like, yeah, this felt like I was training and I was in a fight. I just wasn't taking blows here, but I'm going right from one thing to the next. It's constant movement, saw high intensity. There's stress. You have 30 seconds to finish. And again, if you find some reprieve, uh, it's not like you're sitting down. You'll notice that Joe's not, he's not like, okay, let me sit down. Uh, you know, he's moving around still. He's walking. That's in his nature. Yep. Look at that. Right. So he's like, okay, there we go. So, um, uh, 10 seconds, you guys, and you're going for 20 calories. I think you get, or excuse me, you're going for 20 burpees. I think you get it. And he's ready to roll in three, two, one, and he will crank out 20 here at all costs. He's going, not much is going to stop him here. Good. So, uh, again, I'm saying 20 Joe's hitting 20. But for you, you might be like, eh, you know what? Uh, 15 is what gets me there. And again, you can follow along with Joe and you can be like, yeah, when he when he works, I'll work. When he stops, I'll stop. That's totally fine. Uh, you're going to get out of this what you want to get out of this. Understand that part of the reason why I have Joe here is because I love the fact that no matter where this guy is in uh, his schematic of training, he is going to crush the work ethic. So he is just going to put the work in uh, no matter what. 15 seconds. Uh, and whether or not he hits his numbers the whole time, that's not what's important. You'll see that he just never gives a relentless worker. Uh, and he's there a little bit early. Okay. So now you're going to have a minute off in three, two, one. So that's your minute, you guys. So you get uh, 60 seconds here to break. Right. And in uh, this piece, I'm asking Joe, I'm like, hey, do you want some water? And he's like, no, 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 I'm good <laughs> in typical Joe fashion. So the, the next piece, you guys, you're on again. So you just completed round one out of uh, four rounds. And again, what I'm telling you is I throw the towel in here for Joe after four rounds. I'm like, yeah, you've had enough. He would just keep going. He'd, he'd keep going. He'd do seven rounds. He'd do 10 rounds. He would do whatever um, because that's in his nature. But for you guys, what I'm saying is, you know, if this is really at capacity, four rounds is good. If you're like, yeah, whatever, I want to take it a little lighter, do six rounds, you know, whatever. Uh, there's 15 seconds, you guys, until you're on. And this is going to start round two. So we're going to roll here in about 10 seconds. This is round two. Ideally, you hit your same numbers. Look, you can play along if you want. If not, you know how to scale this. Three, two, one, and you're up.
Great. Okay. So back at it, you can see Joe is closing out this round. And like I said, he's not going to stop, right? He just won't. Um, so this was your second round that you just finished. And um, you can see, like, this is hard for Joe. This is hard for Joe. But what you have to appreciate right now is the fact that he there is no, like, yep, okay, good, can I stop? There's no, nope, absolutely not. The guy doesn't say one word about, well, could I, what, how could I scale this? Not one word. He just wants to put the work in. That's all he wants to do. He wants to put the work in. So in 30 seconds, crew, we're starting in on your third round. So you've done one and two, third round. And please understand what I want this to feel like is much different than, hey, look, I'm going to do four rounds, which I could really do five or six rounds. I really want this to be the numbers should be reflective of like after four rounds, I didn't even make round three. After that, I'm done. Uh, so in seven seconds, we're on. Uh, hang on here. All you have to do is follow along with Joe. He's going to do the work. Three, two, one, and you're rolling. Okay, you guys are closing out your third round, and I get it. Um, if you are at capacity, if you are, and look, I know a lot of numbers here for uh, my crew that trains regular with me, regularly with me, and if you're at like 20 calories, 26 to 30 on the kettlebell swing and 20 on the burpee with a minute break, you're like, that's hot, like too hot. I could maybe do one more round. Well. Let's see where this falls for you. Um, Joe's going to hop in on round four. Uh, and I just keep saying this. The one thing that I love about this is that, uh, you know, he's he, would, he, he will just keep going. He'll just keep getting after it. There's 30 seconds. And then what's interesting about Joe is there's this one point where, like, he just kind of goes internal. And you can't hear him here, but... Uh, and anyone who's ever trained with Joe, he's like hooting, uh, hollering, he's uh, yelping, uh, and he's 
he's just a he's positive attitude, wants to work. Clock rolls, you guys, in 10 seconds. And I like this. And I like that you guys get a chance to see part of this and how he does this. Five seconds, four, three, starting round four, two, one. Let's roll, crew. Good. And here we're closing this out. Uh, there's five seconds to go. Just so you know, Joe is just putting work in here. Uh, it's tough for him. He's doing great work. Uh, he's, uh, again, he would, he, he would just keep going if I let him. I'm telling him here, uh, listen, let's call it here. And, you know, he's pushing back a little bit on me like, yeah, I can go. I can keep going. But, you know. Uh, a, I don't want to clean up any puke, uh, and then B, uh, Joe's got places to be. So, uh, listen, if that was enough for you, end it here. And it should have been, if you, if you stuck to the right numbers, if you're like, nah, I could keep going by all means, get out of this, what you want to get out of this. Um, but let's say thanks to Joe. Great work, Joe. Um, he's, uh, found at Minneapolis boxing club.com. And I'll link to that here in our notes. But what an awesome guy. Great guy. Um, thanks a ton, Joe. We appreciate it.